A Minnesota woman attacked by a bear on her own deck says she doesn't know how she survived. I got knocked down, so it was thumping my head, and I got scratches back on the neck. I've got a great big scratch here, too. Some of this the bear surprised 59 year old Catherine Hansen on Friday now. night. See Wildlife experts know. think that it was looking for food. Kate Raddett traveled to Catherine's home in Monaga, Minnesota to hear her story. I don't know how I was lucky enough to survive that. As the dogs played out front of Catherine Hansen's rural home last week, she stepped out onto the deck to call them back inside. Suddenly, there was a large dark figure standing on its hind legs in front of her. Yes. I just remember how big it was and I said, wow, and I, I went like this, I know that. A black bear had wandered onto the deck. Catherine doesn't really remember anything after that, but she has the scars to prove it. It bit me, and I was, I must have been punching because I had bruises on my fingers. And then it turned around and left, and then came back and got the top of my head. I Alan Reif, who lives with Catherine, was inside the house when he heard her screaming. Scared the bejeepers out of me. It scared you? Oh, yeah, because she was covered in blood. Reif says the attack lasted less than a minute before the bear left along with two bear cubs, shown here on their home surveillance video. Catherine was in shock. I couldn't tell you what happened. I couldn't even tell you how much it hurt. It just happened so fast. The DNR believes the animal was likely drawn to the house because of bird feeders on the lawn. Catherine says she's traumatized from the experience and now keeps a shotgun ready at her door. Even the dogs are spooked to go off the deck at night unless I step off the deck. She very well could have been killed, you know. Catherine needed close to 40 stitches for the wound on her head. None of her dogs was hurt. The DNR is reminding people to keep bird feeders and any trash away from their homes.